As reported earlier, working-level talks between North Korea and the U.S. have been taking place in Panmunjom over the last few days. Watchers say that the officials that have been called up to carry out the talks show that both sides are serious about making the negotiations a success. Uh, Kim Yo-sun tells us more about the delegations. The U.S. has expressed its strong intent to make its negotiations with North Korea a success, with its veteran diplomat and expert on the North, Sung Kim, leading preparations for a historic meeting between the leaders of the two countries. Sung Kim, U.S. ambassador to the Philippines, served as Washington's special envoy to the six-party talks from 2008 to 2011, and also as the U.S. ambassador to South Korea from 2011. He returned to a more direct role in negotiations as U.S. Special Representative for North Korea policy in 2014. But at the same time, we will coordinate with our five-party partners to look for an opportunity to resume um, credible, meaningful, serious negotiations on the nuclear issue. Sun Kim was selected to lead negotiations with the North at such a crucial time, despite the fact he served under the Obama administration. Pundits say it reflects President Trump's strong determination to make the negotiations a success. Sun Kim's North Korean counterpart at the working level talks is the regime's vice foreign minister, Choi Sun Hee. She has years of experience and is well connected within the North Korean hierarchy. Choi, the daughter of a former premier, joined the foreign ministry in mid 1980s and served as an English interpreter. During the past several years, she was a spokesperson for the North Korean regime through her various meetings with U.S. experts in Europe and Southeast Asia. If the right conditions are made, we will sit down with the Trump administration for talks. Choi gang il who's in charge of North American affairs in the North, is also part of the North's delegation. He reportedly made contact with U.S. officials in February while visiting South Korea for the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics. With the ears of experience on both sides, there is hope they can thrash out a way to make the Singapore summit happen as planned on June 12th. Kim Yo-sun, Arirang News.